Hey everybody, this is Corey and welcome to another screencast. Today we're going to take a look at an application that I swear by on a daily basis. Uh, I have written a post about this on matgasm.net, but I figured it'd be nice for people who have not used this application to kind of see what it looks like and what it does. So that application is Evernote. Uh, again, I use Evernote religiously. There's not a day that goes by that I do not use this application. So, basic outline, basically it's a notebook. You can write notes in it, you can save notes to it, pictures, just about anything. So, we'll see. I've got a bunch of notebooks here, and let me just make a new notebook. And we will call this new notebook Macgasm. We're going to synchronize it. And we'll get right started. So let's say right here I had this PNG file and I want to drag it over and just drop it into a uh, Matgasm here. It imports a note and all I have to do is name it. I can tag it to make it searching easier. So you'll just call it uh, Matgasm and just save it like that. And I close it and it is in there. So basically, uh, with Evernote, it does several things. You can, when you sync it, it uploads to the cloud, and you can work on recognition of what's in your notes. So if we go to all note, well, let me sync it first real quick. So it's kind of fascinating because you can write a bunch of notes or have a bunch of notes in there, and then you're like, oh, you know, I'm looking for something associated with uh, the casino that you applied for that you're checking out or doing design work for or something for this or that or whatever so we'll go in here and let's say there's a uh, website I'm part of called the second deal let's see if we can pull that up so you'll see I just typed in deal and it pulled up four documents for me it pulled up uh, this accused document with and it has deal highlighted. It pulled up the iPhone programming guide. It pulled up one of my Macgasm things, or one of my Mac heist uh, receipts, and then it pulled up the second deal logo for one of the web forms I'm part of. So that's just some of the things. As long as you sync it, you're going to be able to get all this uh, information. So let's. Type in news and see what comes up here. We've got a few things here, not a not a whole lot. So, but everything that's going to pull up that we type for is going to give us that result. Now, I don't know if the Matgasm logo has been in there long enough to uh, pull up anything this broad of a search. But let's just type in Mac and Macgasm pops up there. And it's the first result. So I have nothing Mac related on here yet. But let's say you want to keep other things stored on here. Um, for instance, I just bought a brand new digital SLR camera that I want to keep track of. I bought a, just got a brand new Nikon D60. Well, I always have my iPhone with me, not the computer. So I got the PDF for how to use it. And for some tips, I just drag it over to Evernote, drop it in there. And it begins to put that PDF inside of Evernote. So you'll see right there, it's already importing it in. And with the iPhone app, with the Evernote iPhone app, I now have this PDF file with me at all times. So if I forget how to do something with the camera, I'm confused, I'm getting some weird some weird readouts with my camera, I can pull out my iPhone, look at the Evernote application, pull up this PDF, and read it right there. So very handy for that. Another thing that's handy for, let's, uh, let's go to my tweets here. And one of my friends from uh, Facebook and Twitter just has an overheard statement that I that I like. Well, instead of favoriting it within Twitter, if I hit the control command C, 
I get a little box that I can select that with. So I highlight what I want, hit enter. It goes straight into Evernote. I name it, tweet. And when I go back to my notebooks, her tweets right there. And now I have a folder for tweets, so I can just drop it right in there and it's all set. Sync it up, it goes up to the cloud, it redistributes to everything that I have ever note on. Again, I cannot live without this application. The best part about Evernote though, is it's absolutely free. So if you like, if you like free stuff, hop on, download it, start using it. You have to create an account, but you get, it works on Windows and it works on Mac, works on iPhone, Windows mobile devices, and you have a web interface as well. So you're at work, you can't use the work computers to download applications, but you need something from Evernote. You go to evernote.com, sign into your account, and you get all your stuff right there. And it works if you have, you know, your iPhone with you. you check that Windows mobile device. You, it's all the stuff working on the cloud works great. The text re recognition is amazing. You have just a regular flip phone, but you see something you want to take a picture of, like your receipt maybe. Snap a picture of it. When you sign up for an account, you get an email address to send all your stuff to for your account. So you can email it to your Evernote account, it loads up there, and then it's already distributed where it needs to be. Another thing that Evernote just added was Twitter support. So you join Evernote, and let's say you send a tweet out that you want to keep track of. Maybe it's a, uh, a, a reply, or it's just a reminder to yourself. You're on the go, you've, you've got your phone, and you don't have time to, you know, you don't want to open up an application, or you're not close to where you can open up an application. You go to Twitter, you... You friend up my en, which is my Evernote. They send you a bunch of stuff to get everything set up right. You send a direct message to them after you're friends with them, and those messages that you send automatically go to your Evernote account. Or you have a tweet you send out publicly. You just put at my en anywhere in the tweet, and it syncs up to your Evernote account. It's absolutely priceless if you really like the service uh, there is a premium membership that gives you a lot more space to play with and it's about $50 a year 50 $55 a year well worth it I don't get anywhere close to it but I love the service so much that I support it uh, so if you use Evernote already that's great tell me how you use it I'd love to hear how you use Evernote uh, if you're not using it get out there go to evernote.com download it free today try it out if you don't like it, there's no cost to it. It's 100% free. So after 30 days, you don't have to pay for it still. It's free. So try it out. Let me know what you think, and we'll catch you next time.